What do you want from your life? We're going to go big picture here. Where is it that you want to be in six months time? Where is it that you want to be in a year's time? In two years, in three years, in four years, in five years? You get the picture. Now, you've probably heard those questions before. You've probably thought about those questions before. Let me flip it the other way though. Where do you not want to be in six months time? Really think about this. Where do you not want to be in a year's time? Now, you're looking for the motivation to study. You're looking for inspiration to help you to get focused right now. And that's what we're here to do. And I want you to start by asking yourself that question. Where do I want to be and where do I not want to be? When you understand the importance of not just your motivation, so the thing that's going to push you forward, you also got to look at what are the blocks? What are some of the things that are stopping you from being focused right now? How many tabs do you have open in your browser? Where is your phone right now? Is it on loud or silent? Have you got rid of those triggers? Is your bedroom window open? So you're sat there and you're looking at your homework, the paper that you're supposed to do, and you can see in that moment that you're hesitating. One key insight, idea, wisdom that you need to take into your skull and into your spirit. And that's in life, when it comes to studying, in that moment when you're hesitating to get the work done that you need to do, there is no in-between. You're either growing or you are decaying. There's no in-between. There is a law of entropy in the universe. Go and look at your physics textbook and you'll realize that there is no in-between. You're either on the attack, you're on the offense, and you're getting things done. So you need to stop waiting where it's safe on the sidelines, and you need to start working. And that means picking up the pen, answering the first question, and then focusing on the next, and the next, and the next, and turning the page over and over, hour after hour, day after day, week after week. You have to stay working. You have to stop waiting where it's safe on the sidelines. Think about where it is you want to be and where it is you don't want to be. Because if you're looking for the motivation, if you're looking for the inspiration to get started, to get going, that's the thing that's really going to drive you. That's the thing that's going to get your rocket off the ground. Now, think about that analogy. When you're waiting and waiting and waiting for the rocket to get started, to launch and lift off into space, what happens? Five, four, three, two, one, lift off. And I want you to use that same analogy in your head. When you sit down at the desk, when you get to school, when you get on the bus, you get on the train, you start walking, you get to the library. Five, four, three, two, one, go. When you get to the next lesson, five, four, three, two, one, go. And I want you to use this countdown to lift off, to get started, because here's the thing. When you're looking for the inspiration, you're looking for the feeling and feelings are temporary. Feelings come and go. You can't control how you feel. You know that already. But what you can control is your level of discipline, the level of discipline that you have to get started. And that's what you can do to help you get there. It's not fun to wake up early and read and read and read. And it might be boring to sit alone in your room or alone in the library studying. It might not be fun. It might not be easy, but it is profitable. It does give you results. Think about all of the great people that we admire in our society and the things that they must have had to go through in order to make it look effortless. Motivation is not just gonna find you by chance. It's gonna find you warming up in the gym. It's gonna find you with that pen in your hand 10 minutes into that study session in the library on a Sunday when there's no one else around. None of your friends joined you. Motivation might even find you like me when you get rejected by every single university you apply for. Sweating, working hard, straining yourself, pushing yourself to get things done. And there's only one person 
in this world who can make it happen. And that person, my friend, that person is you. That person is the one that looks right back at you in the mirror and you need to stop looking for guarantees from your teachers or from the curriculum. And don't get me wrong, you know, there's plenty of holes in education. There's plenty of things that I don't agree with, but you have to learn to play the game. And this is the what these are the words that I wish I had heard when I was younger. Push yourself, get it done, make it happen. Stop looking for external motivation and start building that fire inside of you. Start adding more logs, more petrol to those flames every single day. And when you're waiting where it's safe, not only are you wasting time, but you are murdering. Yes, I use that word intentionally. You're murdering that success that you crave because potential doesn't activate itself on the sidelines. It activates itself when you're taking action, when you're in the arena, when you see the people who had less potential than you achieve more because they did what? They got it done. They made it happen. So the only thing that I want you to take away from this video is what? You're either growing, you're either on the attack or you're on the defense and that means you're decaying. There is no room for an in-between. So push yourself, stop waiting and commit today. The only thing that you need to do is to take action and motivation is what's created as a byproduct. And we have so many things, the entire culture that revolves around creating the feeling instead of doing the action. And that's the single thing that you need to know is if you're looking for the motivation to study, if you're looking for the motivation to work hard, if you're looking for the motivation to get started, you're looking in the wrong place. The only place that you need to look is that the book, is that the pen. The only thing that you need to do is to get started. Sit down at your desk, turn your phone off, close all of the extra tabs in your window that you don't need and get going. And when the distractions come, realize that these things are temporary. They are temporary visitors. But the regret, the regret that you're gonna feel when you get smacked in the face on results day, in the classroom and the teacher asks you a question and you haven't done the work, you haven't done the homework, you haven't done the assignment, but most of all, you know in yourself, I didn't really live up to my potential, that's gonna hurt. And I say this because I know, I was that kid when I was at school, when I was at university, when I was in college, but the greatest pain, the greatest motivator was regret and trust me, do you want to live with regret or do you want to live with success? If you stay where you are right now, imagine where you'll be in six months. Imagine where you'll be in a year and a rolling stone gathers no moss. And that speaks to the power of momentum. That when you take one repetition, one revision session after another revision session, one habit of waking up early in the morning, and then you do it on Tuesday, you do it on Wednesday, you do it on Thursday, you do it on Friday. And yeah, it wasn't fun, but it was profitable, wasn't it? And all of a sudden you've got a five day streak. And then the game is let's turn it into a 10 day streak. And then the game is let's make it 20, let's make it 30. And next thing you know, you've done a hundred days of studying. And in three months, you turned your entire academic career around. You changed from an average student into a great student. And it can be done in a space of a hundred days and it's not going to be fun. The feelings aren't always going to be there. You're not always going to feel like it, but it will be profitable and you will avoid the greatest pain of all. And that's the pain of regret. And that pain, that's permanent. The feeling is not. So which one do you want? Do you want the feeling that's temporary or do you want the regret that is permanent, that's burned into your soul that you knew I could have done better. I could have done so much better. Get up. Stop what you're doing and start taking more action. Take five seconds. Five seconds. This video is going to end. Five, four, three, two, one. Go make it happen. <laughs>